Hello everybody, welcome back to art school! It is... It... Hi... Hold! Draw! Fill! Okay, stop! It's, it's just loud in my ears! Okay, dude? Thank you. So, we're back in this wonderful world. I am going to find a hole in the ground. Hello? Is that the hole in the ground? Are you whole? Are you whole? I think you're whole. You are whole! Okay, how do we draw this hole? That's a lame hole. We don't draw lame holes. We draw, we draw, uh, what's the opposite of lame? Cool holes. We only draw cool holes here. See, that's, those are the type of holes we want. We get to draw the arch along with the hole for peak performance. Let me rest myself down. I do want a vantage point on this hole. Um, let's see what we can do. Sure is a hole. Cool. Let's do this perspective here. I know I'm in the way of the arch. What can you do? Here, look at the arch. There it is. Right there. You see it? Are you happy? Are you? You best be. So, the ground. Okay, sky is so purple. The sky is unbelievably purple. And by purple, I mean pink and also purple. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Oh, that's so much better. Hold on. No! So, we're going to get our pokey dotties of this. This is what static looks like, if you were wondering. This is exactly what it looks like. So, that's the background. And then... Wait, no, this color. Got our blue floor. We don't have a lot of color options, okay? So we gotta do the blue floor. And then we can draw this arch. We're gonna have to do shading on this arch, which kind of frightens me a lot. Um, how do you do shading? How do you shade? How do people shade things? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, wait, it doesn't look too bad yet. Emphasis on the yet. I mean, I know, it's not amazing, but like, it gets the job done, right? You look at that and you say, dang dude, that's an arch. If I were to look at this, the first thing on my mind would be, dang dude, that's a 3D, 
third dimensional arch. Sweet. And now we get to draw the hole. So what does the hole look like? It's just kind of like that. Pretty much like that. Dang, dude, that's an arch. Dang, dude, that is an arch and a half right there, if I've ever seen one. And I have seen one, and that's what it looks like. So there is like a perspective on this, on this hole. It's like, we gotta get fine detail here. Extreme detail, extreme precision artwork here. Only the most precise artwork here on Pancake Papas. Okay, okay. I just keep making it smaller. Um. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> How do you do perspective on a hole? Like, shouldn't it have, like... What do holes look like? I could draw, like, a peak of what's under the hole. Wrong color. Like that. So you know that it's a hole. This is good. This is good. And if you disagree, you're wrong. Um. I think that's a hole. If you were to ask me, hey, what do you think that is? I would say, that's a hole. And I would be correct because it is in fact a hole. Sick. All right. Done. Oh wait, we're supposed to fill it in. But I don't really want to fill it in. Cause like I kind of am happy with my artwork. But I guess that's the point of the game, is to follow the prompts, but freak the prompts. Just kidding, don't freak the prompts. Um... Someone spilled their purple juice. Oh, and it just completely filled in that hole. Concrete. Nope. Concrete. Stonk Crete.
Okay, I'm happy with this. It's filled in, we're good. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. Draw a map from memory. Clouds. Um, oh, yeah. That's it right there. That's 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 it right there. That's that's the campus. Pretty sure. I mean, yes, I was wrong, but it's not that wrong. There's a lot more islands, actually. Let's add some more islands. I know this isn't from memory. Whatever. Let me play my game, Mom. That's for sure. Correct. <laughs> I love the dog so much. You can't not place the dog. This is the scamp scampus. <laughs> this is the campus. Get me in your door, please. This is the scampus. Hey, can I be honest, sir? Bad prompt. Bad prompt. Bad assignment. Draw a still life. So I'm pretty sure still life is like... You find an object and you draw it as you see it. Um, so what can I draw a still life of? This says Garden of Whedon, and I am going to draw a still life of it. Let me turn my light on for full effect. Just so I can get the shading. I'm going to place it I don't have any flat surfaces. Um... Okay, got it. It is right in front of my computer screen on a white book and it, the shade is coming this way. Good, I'm just gonna be staring at this frog. So we'll get the, I'll just get the whole notebook here. Um, This is gonna be difficult. I've ne I don't know how to do these things. Notebook. And then it's got the coils on it. Really putting a lot of detail into this d notebook. 
just to make sure you know it's a notebook. You know this is a notebook. Okay, now. Now, the frog, the toad at hand. He is like, he, I'm going to start, hmm. Where do I start here? From my perspective, you can't even see his feet. So I'll start with the feet. <laughs> um, we've got one toe here, one toe here, one toe there. And then we got the sign, which is like in the way of everything. There we go. And the sign is green on the top because of the shading. And it says Garden of Whedon. It's on the keyboard. <laughs> we'll do the sign later. The thing is on the keyboard. We got some hands holding this sign, though. Some good old froggy hands. They kind of just go this way. This is incredible. I feel like a real artist. See, that's his shoulder. Um, these are his feet, of course. Then we got some Oh, okay, we'll. St oh. <laughs> There's a lot of parts to this frog, alright? We got the face. That's its little lip thing. Then it's got some stuff back here. And then the eye protrusion is the main focus. The eye protrusion goes all the way up. Like. So, and then the arm kind of comes out like that. Okay, 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 okay. If I say enough, if I say okay enough, it will be okay. Um. He's staring me right in the eyes, and it's terrifying. He got them. He got them lips. We can start with the eyes, though. The eyes are very important. They're like. That. And then the lips. <laughs> are like. Okay, hold on. Okay, um, now we're not done. His arm, yeah, his arm goes like that. And then right here is his leg. And it goes like 
you can only see one toe again. But there are implied toes here. Implied toes is the name of my new frog art album. So, we have the main shape complete. The problem is, how do we get the shading? Because the shading is the important part of a still life. And... Well... <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll start with like this. I don't know. <laughs> this is so sad. This is so very, very sad. Like, this entire side is shaded. So I'm just, I'm just drawing it how it is, okay? This is how it is, okay? See, that's better. That's better. That's better. Emphasis on the that. No, not no emphasis. Why would there be an emphasis? There's no emphasis there. This is just... Should have stopped while I was ahead, huh? I say as if there was ever a point where I was ahead. Um, <laughs> this is just, <laughs> okay, let's do, um, Perfect. Don't you dare. Thank you. Okay. Now all we gotta do is draw the shade of the frog on the thing. How hard could it be? It'd be like this. Thank you. 
There's a glint in his eyes. <laughs> Other than that, I'm pretty sure this is perfect. This is a done deal. This is a, this is an art. This is a, it's, it's perfect, okay? It's perfect. We're done. Let me um add some color like that. And then no. Uh where do we go now? I'm pretty I'm not super proud of it, but I'm kind of proud of it, to be honest. It's pretty decent. It's pretty okay. Is there a door here? I guess so. <sighs> I worked so hard on that. Now that is a difficult... Now that is a difficult prompt. You've heard of but never seen. That was an accident. Heard of but never seen. Something I've heard of but I've never seen. Should I draw boobs? <laughs> oh, funny. Should I draw, um, what? It's a really difficult thing, like, you, in the comments, write down what something you've heard of but never seen. Because, I just don't know. Like, it's incredible how difficult this prompt is. You've heard of but never seen. I'm gonna ask my friends and my family real quick. Okay, I'm back. So it's a really difficult thing I got my brain, which is very interesting and smart, a very interesting and smart answer. I got Bigfoot and cryptids in general. So Bigfoot, Bigfoot. So the thing is, like, I've never seen Bigfoot in real life, obviously. No one has, supposedly. Um, but I've seen him online, but I'm going to make my own, what I think Bigfoot looks like. Okay. So this is something I've heard of, but never seen Bigfoot. I'm going to read an online description of Bigfoot without looking at a picture. That's what I'm going to do. Text description of Big Foot. Hairy, upright walking, ape like creatures that dwell in the wilderness and leave giant human like footprints. Similar to a link between humans and great apes. Um. Large, muscular, bi bipedal, ape-like creature, roughly six to nine feet tall, black, dark brown, or dark red hair. Enormous footprints. Cool. Understood. So. Uh. I don't have any of those colors. So we're gonna just do, like...
This is about right, I'm pretty sure. He probably has cool hair like that. Bob Ross type hair. Um, like emphasis, emphasis on the really big, dang large feet. Like his feet are very large. Why do you think he got his name? You think he got his name because of his big hands? Uh-uh. He got the baby hands. He got huge dang feet though. Like dang, dude. Where did you get feet like those? The the big the Bigfoot store? That's what they said when they invented his name. Uh and then we got his face. No one has described what his eyes are. Maybe he's a cyborg. You know? No one described his eyes. <laughs> Boom. And his mouth? Did anyone describe his mouth or nose? Because... I haven't heard any description. It, I'm pretty sure. My dude's got like a. Plump. Plump lips. Plump. Plumper than peach in spring. Oh, baby. That's the wrong dang brush. Beautiful, plump, luscious lips on that large foot. Uh, what else? <laughs> the Wolverine claws? Did no one mention those? Those are facts. Four of them, in fact. Like a dang four-pronged fork, the most common type of fork. Uh, what else? Did anyone mention, um... His freaking six... six-pack abs? I don't think anyone did. Because they were too scared, is why. They were too scared they would be hunted down. But I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'll say it. I'll draw it. What else? What else do I need to emphasize? You know what I should emphasize here? The feet. Why do you think he's got his name? Where do you think he got his name from? You think he got his name from his lips? No, no, no. Although they are big, they are not known as feet. Feet are known as feet. Lips are known as lips. He may have very large, luscious, plump, pink lips, but that is not the point. The point is he also has plump, four-pronged feet, just like a fork. Enormous 
feet on this dad right here. You didn't know he's a dad? Yeah, he is. His kids? Um, <clears throat> his kids are on the moon. Neil Armstrong, aka Neil Bigfoot Armstrong. Why do you think that that the moon land? Okay, you know the footprint on the moon? That was faked. The real footprint was like bigger than the moon itself because it was Bigfoot's child. That's how big Bigfoot is. Even his child has feet bigger than the moon. Crazy. Extraordinary. Good stuff. Let me just finish this. Um, what else is going on with Bigfoot here? <laughs> that made it so much more disturbing. No, 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 no. He, he has a thigh gap like you've never seen before. Um, and then... This is his footprint because he leaves big footprints. He's known for his big footprints, so he has those big, big footprints. Oh yeah. Everyone's like, hey, look at that huge footprint. Where do you think that came from? Um, probably Bigfoot. And they're right because they can tell because of his big feet that he's Bigfoot. That's why, that's why he's called that. <laughs> I cannot emphasize this enough. He's called Bigfoot because of his strangely large feet. And also he is currently being Thanos snapped into the dimension of non-existence. As you can see here. But his feet don't get Thanos snapped, because his feet are just they they're better than Thanos. <sighs> well, that's about that's about right. Dang, dude, that man, that 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 big boy has some some feet, like some big feet. You're right, he does because he's Bigfoot. He's gonna say, "Oh wow, it's Bigfoot. That's crazy." C B for Bigfoot. Draw the ideal worm. Oh Sick. One more. 
Ideal worm. I think, okay, wait, we have new colors. And now that we have new colors, I think that means we can get the new brushes from wherever they are on the map. So I'm just gonna do some splorin. Poly splorin. Before we head out. I wonder if the signs that are written in a different in the wingbats font, I wonder if they tell you where the locations of the things are. That would be pretty cool. Or maybe I'm just missing them, you know? Who knows? I don't. I sure as heck don't. Um But hold up, hold up a dang old sec. Y'all, y'all. Yes, I searched it up. Don't judge me. It was literally right here the whole time, though. So you can judge me for not finding it before, but don't judge me for cheating, okay? What does this do? Oh, that is gross. That is hideous. Ew. Okay. Perfect for drawing a worm, though. And now I'm gonna find the next color. Okay, I believe I found it. Also, look at that lovely little thing. I didn't notice that before. That's beautiful. It is on this checkerboard, I'm pretty sure, is the last color that we need. I'm pretty sure. So we just have to get there without falling. I'm pretty dang sure. That's it right there. Oh my goodness gracious. He's done it. It's white. It's just white. Okay, cool. We can. Okay, sure. Sure. Let's not complain. Let's draw the ideal worm. Let me just move the whole screen. Hold on. Okay. Draw the ideal worm. Step one. It's in space. Space looks like... Where's the dot tool again? The one that's dots, of course. That's just space with lots of stars in it, okay? Space two. And now we gotta get our worm. No. I love it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you to keep that. Oh my goodness. I mean, I think it's finished. I think this is a finished piece. I don't know how there could be anything better than that. Um, we can add some stars. That's not a star. That's a star. It's, 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 it's literally the ideal worm. You know what I could do? Give him a little hat. Little little worm hat for my little worm boy, my beautiful worm worm man. 
and on this hat, um, <laughs> I, gu I guess I can just draw because that's the point of the game. Nope. I can't undo anymore. I can't un- I- I've made a mistake. No! Oh no. Wait. Space? That's eyes. That's eyes. It's, it, it's beautiful. I don't know what this is. Let's find out. Nope, 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 nope. It's good, this is good. Get the stars back. jump off the edge you you best give this an a that's gonna do it for this episode but for now thanks for watching Love ya. Love ya.